Hi folks, so Chris and Susanna from Hitting the Trail here. Today is, well it's, it's a Sunday, which is different for us. Normally we come to you on Thursdays, but we're changing that. Yes. Uh, so with season five being out and new things happening and, and Tandy, we have decided to mix things up a little bit. So Sundays is gonna be our new big day for videos. Regular scheduled programming. Travel, Yep. normal stuff. Yep. All right, so what about Wednesdays? No, 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 no. Whatever Wednesdays. No, but what about Wednesdays? No, we're gonna change the name to whatever Wednesdays. Oh, so we're gonna have videos on Wednesdays? Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, whatever Wednesdays. Whatever Wednesdays. Cooking, RV living. Hacks. Hacks, tips, tricks. Reviews. Reviews. So two days a week we're gonna have videos. Yes, whatever Wednesday and the normal day of Sunday. So I got travel <laughs> Sunday, relaxation Sunday, and then whatever Wednesdays. Yes. So whatever Wednesday will be coming out on Wednesday at a theater near you. Right, but today is Sunday. <laughs> right. So there's a video coming out right now. Mm -hmm. But it's not whatever Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, there's going to be another one. Yes. That will be whatever Wednesday. It's all going to be awesome. Make sure you hop on, hit the subscription button, the notification bell. Leave a comment and uh, remember. Remember, new videos come out Wednesdays and Sundays now. Right. And hop on. It, well, life's an adventure. Hop on. Hop on. <laughs>
Then we're moving to the kitchen, my favorite spot. Um, the storage in the kitchen is completely amazing. I mean, this thing has room for everything. So we'll start with the island. We've got just a regular drawer here, two drawers. We have a trash can hidden underneath the cabinet. So it's very nice, pulls out. You don't have to smell the garbage. Um, another, another storage cabinet there. Obviously we're still kind of, we have a bunch of stuff in Massachusetts, so this will be a little bit more organized later on. Large storage underneath. This actually is truly the only place that the Instapot will fit. And this is a pretty large one. It's not the biggest, but it's, I think it's the next size up. Um, additional storage up here. I threw a basket up here and all the spices fit up there. You don't have to worry about them flying around. You know, regular plate glass storage, glass paper plate storage. Two additional drawers for utensils and whatnot. Underneath, these cabinets go pretty far back. Yeah, they're deep. They're deep. Um, we were able to, on this side, fit a sous vide container and our giant um, uh, skillet. What do you call it? Cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillet. So, and then even underneath the stove, this is not a warming drawer. This is just big enough for all of the pans that go in the oven. Oven is a tiny bit larger than the regular RV oven. Large enough that I was able to get a um, 13 inch pan as opposed to having to find something that's super small. So, but it works just like all the other ones. And it's very nice in the fact that you don't have to light a match to get it going. You turn it to the, um, to the fire switch and then you turn this and it lights the yeah, stove which so is really nice instead of having to hold that lighter in there with one hand while you're underneath yeah. with the other one yeah you can do it that way but as an option it's easier to do that has an amazing microwave this thing is huge it does have another shelf so you can do two layers of food at the same time it's really strong um so it doesn't take much time at all it's like a regular household um, microwave power so so you have two options when you go for refrigerators. They have a regular, it's a full size, it goes up to here, silver residential fridge. We opted because we do like to do boondocking um, to get the gas option fridge, so, or propane. Um, it's very big, giant freezer, able to fit a lot of stuff in here, so less shopping. Yes. And the same thing with the fridge. And the cool thing is that well, I can't hold the doors open while you're I got it, this. babe. These little things, you can pull them like this, pop it up, and you've already got your refrigerator bars. Isn't that cool? So it's very nice. Um, three separate, separate drawers at the bottom and a nice shelf at the bottom. So it's very, it's very convenient. So this did come with a with a fourth shelf that had a notch out of it for like Something milk Something tall, curtains. like a milk or a um, water pitcher. But we opted to keep it in the door instead because it still didn't seem like without a refrigerator bar, we wouldn't have been able to keep it there because we had a milk incident. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. So if you get this fridge, you get additional storage above, which is great. We're able to fit more stuff up there. Coffee. Coffee and <laughs> whatnot. So hold on. We have additional storage up here. You can fit your things that you don't use a whole lot because it is kind of tall. Um, empty boxes or whatnot. It, it's hard to tell, but that is kind of deep. But this, I think, is the best part. It's a double wide pantry. So, I mean, you can fit everything in here. This side is supposed to be used for like a, you could use it as a coat closet, but we decided that having more shelves to put stuff when we're driving was easier, better option for us. So when these slides come in, I mean, they snug right up to this counter. They're both slides. They snug right up to the counter. So what's nice is you can access both the bedrooms, the bathroom, part of the pantry, and the entire refrigerator when the slide outs are in. So if you're making lunch or whatever, and you're driving for the day, you don't have to put it inside of a cooler in the truck or anything. You can actually still come back in here and access everything with the slide outs in. I forgot. Another cool feature that we have in this is there is a fan 
right here. It's in addition to the um, over the stove fan. This thing, you can cook right here and you won't smell it. It sucks everything right out, so it's really good. Plus, you can leave it open also as just to, to get cooler air in here. So it's really nice. And it's it opens on... You have it. There's a button on the wall and you just push it. So our control panel is right here. And we have regular light switches. Um, we've got the heat and air conditioning. And then we have the, um, this is for the fan, the automatic control. So you have the vent open, the fan on off, you've got multiple settings. And then your control panel. Four slides, they go in order. Slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four. So it's very convenient, easy to remember. All right, so now we're gonna check out the bunk room. So this is a mid bunk, hence the MB in the title. Um, it has a bunk, which I can show you right here. Now this is on the smaller side, so this is maybe for a smaller child, five, six or less years of age, because it's only a five foot wide. But there is a nice window back here, a um, regular one of their teddy bear mattresses. And then when you're not using it, you can just pop it up and it automatically locks. We have an older child, so we found that that was too small for him and he wasn't quite ready to sleep up in the loft. So this is super easy to put out at nighttime. You just set the cushions out here. I can do this with one finger. I'm gonna have to go this way, sorry, I can't. Ready to go. Not Super cool. light. Um, and it's a full, fits regular full size sheets. And then, yeah, the child's been sleeping here and he hasn't complained yet. So that flap actually comes down and you end up with a headboard. Again, you know, one finger, you just lift it back. And this couch is the same as the living room outside, just a different size. Um, the living room couch. Is and you can still do that one one-handed. Yeah, it's super light as well. Right. There's also a good size closet. So I know it's kind of messy, but we are, all of our storage tubs are in our previous rig and we'll get them eventually. And then it did have two shelves, so we just added a couple shelves to make this a good closed closet for him. We do have a desk here. Um, it's a little bit high. So we kind of use it more as a shelf, but it does, um, it does fold down very easily. Like so. It's got TV hookups. Um, we haven't found the right bracket yet to hook his TV up. We had a little incident. <laughs> may, have, but, may have done that wrong. <laughs> and then the door has a cool little magnet down at the bottom. And it just secures there. So we have a loft? We do have a loft, and I'm gonna pass you over to Corbin. Hi, Corbin. Hi. So this is the loft. We have some plugs and USB ports up over here. Then we have the window. So it's you've got plenty of space. I mean, this is a full-size bed, basically, because it's two of these teddy bear mattresses together. Um, but yeah, this is his kind of... This is his home away from home. He this, climbs up here, he does all of his gaming. This is the vent, which is basically never turned on. Well, because well, it's that's AC. For air conditioning. So right now we're, we're partially using it for storage and, and getting ready for him to want to move up here. Kill the lights. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Welcome back. So over here we have a lovely, good-sized bathroom. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of storage in here, above, below. Yeah, there is a ton of storage throughout the, the vehicle. And then you have a great size shower, so hold that. So I'm almost six feet tall. Shower head's way up here. It's actually too high for them, so we're going to move it down a little bit. But there's tons of room. There's a seat, so I can, you know, shave my legs. <laughs> and a ton of cubby space, and it goes way back. 
There are two doors. However, we don't use the bathroom or the bedroom door because there's a door right here. Which, so, which is nice. It's a pocket door with a magnet. And when we're in transit, you just lock quick it. Latch. So the master suite is relatively large. I mean, compared to our previous ones, there's a lot of space. This is an RV King, so a 70 by 80. So make sure you're aware of that when you go and purchase bedding for it. You're aware <laughs> of that ahead of time. Um, like I said, here's the, the sliding door to the bathroom, which we don't use because there's another door right there. So not really something we needed. Um, two dresser drawers. They're pretty good size, pretty deep. TV mount with all the hookups. Now, before we go in there. Oh, there's also a storage underneath the bed as well. Oh. It's a good size storage. So we so, were able to fit two giant suitcases plus a bunch of other stuff. That's nice. deep. Outlets on both sides of the the bed. There may not be shelves, but you can plug your stuff in. So that's important. When this slide comes in, it tucks right into the, into the dresser. So, <laughs> so before we open up the closet, we just a note, we had a little bit of an incident and I did a quick fix, but we've already spoken with Tandara and we're going to, we're going to get this problem or the, the issue figured out. It's just something that broke. We hit some really rough roads and had a lot of clothes on the clothes line. So anyway, without further ado, here's the closet. So you got a double wide. It goes the entire length of the RV. There was one single pole going all the way across. We put our clothes on it and it just kind of broke. It had a little attachment here, but it just kind of broke. It does have washer and dryer hookups on the left-hand side, but there are outlets and lights on both sides so i guess i should turn the light out first yeah yeah so the washer and dryer hookups are down there and plugs but yeah this closet is huge and again more plugs yep so it's very nice all right so that was the inside of our tandara and i'm going to take you outside and show you all the stuff out there So as full-timers, we find this to be a superb product. Um, it has storage for everything that we need, winter gear, summer gear, hiking gear, you know, the kids' toys and whatnot. Um, it's got everything, storage for everything that we need. Um, it pulls well, uh, and, and it, it looks great. It's beautiful. Yeah. You know, and the lighter interior really makes it feel more spacious. Yeah, so if you have any comments, questions, or anything you want to know about the Tandara, just leave us a comment down below. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. And life's an adventure. Hop on. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.